Okay, so what are we talking about here? Well, we have some sort of triangle. And the sides of this triangle are A, B, and C. So these are variables. We don't have actual numbers here. But this particular triangle, we have a little clue uh, about it because we have this little symbol down there in the bottom right-hand corner of that triangle. So uh, what does that mean? Okay, so I'm asking you on the other end of this video, do you know what this means? Uh, what it, uh, it's implying or telling us about this triangle? Well, if he said, isn't that a right triangle? Well, then you would be absolutely correct. And then we go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and a check mark. That means it's a right triangle. But specifically what that means is that uh, angle right there is 90 degrees. So in a triangle, okay, when you add up the angles in a triangle, all right, let's go ahead and just this angle, this angle, plus this angle, you're always going to get what number, okay? How many degrees are you, are you going to get? Now, this is another little question I'm asking you, but if you said 180 degrees, then I must give you another check mark and a little A plus uh, for knowing that. So that's excellent. Okay, so all triangles, the sum of the angles in any single triangle, no matter what, it's always going to be 180 degrees. Of course, you have three angles to add up. So, for example, uh, for this particular triangle, this could be 90 degrees. This is a right triangle, will always be 90 degrees then this might be 45 and this might be 45 because 45 plus 45 is 90. 90 plus another 90 is 180. Okay, so already right now, you know, for those of you out there, I never want to assume that you already have this information. Okay, if you're starting off uh, learning math or just reviewing learning math, you know, it's it's not a it's not good to be on the other end of someone saying, oh, you didn't know that? You know, it's like, what do you mean? You know, where you been? <laughs> you know, hey, listen, if you're learning math for the first time or you've gone back and reviewing math for over many years, you know, there's nothing worse than somebody making you feel bad for not knowing something. So I don't want to be that person. And that's why I'm really going to uh, try to uh, just explain what I'm going to be talking about here in a very easy uh, to understand manner. Okay, so again, what are we talking about here? We have a triangle and we have specifically a right triangle. This is 90 degrees, okay? Now, in mathematics and in geometry, right triangles, okay, triangles like this that have that 90 degrees are very, very, very important, okay? And we know uh, quite a bit about these triangles and are something that is extremely important that everybody, of course, I'm saying 100%, need to know this. Well, if you're studying any kind of mathematics at the middle school level or beyond, you really want to know this, okay? So 100% uh, of you, you know, should know this. And if you're like, yeah, I don't really know it, you know, to be successful in your life, you're probably correct. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if you are studying any kind of math, you're going to see this. And matter of fact, the importance of what I'm going to be talking about uh, increases as you continue to study math, okay? So it's uh, not that difficult, and we're going to get into exactly what I'm going to be talking about here. Now, if you think you can... Um, guess what I'm talking about. Let me give you a clue. It starts with uh, a P and then there is a T. Okay, so it's some word with a P and another word with a T. So let's just have fun with it. And if you're like, hmm, what are you talking about? And, uh, is it physical training? No, it's not that. But uh, anyways, I'm going to get to this ex in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can check out my math help program by following the link in the uh, description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. I also do a lot in the area of test prep. So if you are studying for a particular exam like uh, the GED, SAT, ACT, teacher certification, ASVAB, uh, tons of different types of tests. I can help you out prepare for the math section on those exams. I also do a lot in homeschooling. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program. Now, one other quick thing. I'm a huge believer uh, in note-taking because I've been teaching math for decades. So if your notes are anything less than awesome, you need to improve your notes. Just believe me, push the I believe button on that. Okay, and, uh, strong note-taking or excellent note-taking is really... Um, so critical in you learning mathematics. So you know, take a look at your notes and just be honest about it. You know, most people can stand improvement. So improve those notes. And in the meantime, if you want to use my notes to study from, you can. I'll leave links to those notes in the description of this video. All right, so let's get into this mysterious thing that I'm talking about that all of you should know. And it is the Pythagorean Theorem. 
Okay, so that's what we're talking about, the Pythagorean theorem, and here it is in all its glory. So it's a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Now, if I gave you this theorem like this, and without explaining what we're talking about, you know, it, it wouldn't really mean anything. But this, a, b, and c, are uh, these variables are referring to the lengths of a right triangle, okay, specifically of a right triangle. So let's just uh, break this down a little bit. A Pythagorean, so it sounds like this was named after somebody, right? And in fact, it was after this super smart uh, person called Pythagoras, who's just a, like a total mathematical genius of all times. Anyway, so he figured out this relationship. And now this word here is theorem. Now, some of you might have heard this word before. This might be new to you. Uh, but this word theorem in geometry and, math and mathematics, basically, you can kind of think of it as a law. Okay, this is kind of Pythagorean's law. There's more of a technical definition on it. So some of you out there that know the difference, you know, this word, don't beat me up too bad uh, in the comments. Be like, no, no, that's not exactly what a theorem is. Listen, I'm talking to those folks uh, out there. This is new to, right? So this is like uh, the, a particular law in mathematics, and let's go ahead and explain uh, what we're talking about here, okay? All right, so Pythagorean Theorem uh, states the following. All right, so we have three sides of a right triangle, okay? A, B, and C. Now, first things first. Okay, let's talk about this C side. Now, if you look, this is the longest side of this right triangle. So, the variable C will always rep represent the longest side of a right triangle, and that's called the hypotenuse, okay? So just, just so you know, this C length will always represent the longest side of the right triangle. So that's what this C is, okay? So if we know this length here of this right triangle, we can uh, we're gonna be squaring it, okay? Now, A and B are the other lengths, <clears throat> excuse me, of uh, this right triangle. So these are the two shorter lengths. So this could be A or this could be B. Matter of fact, this could be B and this could be A. It doesn't make a difference in terms of the algebra uh, relationship in this particular formula, but the C does count, right? This is always the longest, the longest, and it's the hypotenuse, okay? All right, so these are the other two shorter sides. Now, let's go ahead and uh, understand what this is saying, okay? Now, I'm gonna explain this to you here Real fast, and then we're obviously I'm going to reinforce this by actual example. It's basically saying this, but that theorem is saying this. If you take this side, okay, this uh, shorter side, one of these sides here, and you square it, okay, we take this length and we square it. Then we take this length, okay, over here, and then we square that, all right, a squared, and then this b squared, and then we're going to add them together. Whatever number we get, okay, is the answer is going to be the same thing as taking this C and squaring it. All right, so when you do that, these two values will be the same. Okay, so A squared plus B squared, when you do that, is the same thing as C squared. That is the Pythagorean theorem. This has huge implications, not only in geometry, but in more advanced mathematics as well, like trigonometry, etc. So believe me when I tell you, this is extremely important uh, to know. And it has a lot of practical value as well. Matter of fact, uh, some of you out there uh, might be like carpenters or no in a construction trade, but when you're figuring things out, people who build homes and, uh, and you know, again, people that work with their hands or trades and stuff, they actually use this as well. Okay, so you you'll be surprised in terms of what's you know considered practical math. I would definitely classify this as practical mathematics. Now let's get into some examples. All right, so here I have a right triangle. And I just put this A, B, and C here just to kind of remind us of this. And we have three, four, and five. Now, this is an actual uh, length of a valid right triangle. I'm going to explain this uh, here in a second. So if this is a right triangle, and this is, okay, and these are the lengths of this right triangle, well, this should uh, hold true. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So let's go ahead and see how that works. All right, so what would be our A well, let's call um, uh, four our A, and let's call this three our B, okay? It, it could be vice versa, but again, the five is uh, the C value. All right, so A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Let's go ahead and actually, you know, uh, write this out mathematically. Let me give myself some room. 
All right, so what would be a squared? Well, that would be four squared. Let me write the formula here so we can see it. Matter of fact, I'll do it right here. So a squared is gonna be four squared. And what's b squared? Well, that's gonna be three squared, and that should be equal to c squared, which is five squared. So now let's go ahead and simplify this little uh, mathematics here. So that four squared is what? Well, that's four times four or 16 plus, uh, or I'm sorry, a squared is four, um, a four squared, which is 16. Three squared is what? Three times three, that is nine. And then five squared is what? Well, that is 25. Okay, so is this true? 16 plus nine is what? That's 25. So 25 is equal to 25. It definitely worked out. It is true. Okay, so you're always going to have that true relationship uh, when you have uh, a right triangle, okay? So you have this very special relationship between the lengths uh, of the sides of a right triangle. Now, let's kind of play around with this and make this a little bit interesting, okay? I'm going to show you a couple quick um, examples here. Now, let's say I had a problem like this. So we already know the answer is 5, right? Because I, I just, you know, uh, erased that. So we know the length of the hypotenuse. But what if I said find the length of the hypotenuse. And you're saying, hmm, okay, I got a triangle and I have this little symbol, it's a right triangle, so you're thinking the Pythagorean theorem and that's good thinking because that's exactly what you need to uh, know to solve this. So you can be like, okay, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So you're gonna say, all right, this side right here, that's four squared plus this side right there, that'll be c squared, or sorry, um, this could be a or this could be b, so that'd be three squared. Now that's going to be equal to c squared, which is this right here. This length is representing c. So c is x, or which is to write that as x squared. Okay. So just to be crystal clear about this, this is our a squared, this is our b squared, and this is our c squared. Okay. Now you could just have you know, this variable is x. You can use the variable c, but because we're using variable x, uh, the variable x, we'll just leave it as an x. Okay. So now you just need to solve you, uh, this equation using uh, basic algebra. So here, 4 squared is 16 again, uh, 3 squared is 9, and x squared is just x squared. So I have 25 is equal to x squared. So how do I solve an equation like this in algebra? Well, you just simply uh, take the square root of both sides of the equation, and you're going to get x is equal to positive and negative 5. Okay, so in other words, uh, this is a quadratic equation, but just so you know, just not uh, use two fancy words if, you're not, uh, if you don't know what that means. Basically, the answer is either x is equal to 5 or, and x is equal to negative 5. These are the two solutions to this equation, but we're dealing with the lengths of a triangle, so it's not going to be like a negative length. It's going to be x is equal to 5, and of course, we knew that. Okay, that was 5. All right, so now, hopefully, you can see how you can solve these kind of equations using the Pythagorean theorem. Let me just do one more a quick example. We'll make this pretty fast. So this video doesn't have to be so, so long. But again, you know, if you're here to learn something about triangles and, and whatnot, you know, you can't rush through learning math. It's like you have to practice it. It has to be explained. You know, uh, there's, it's a lot to it. Okay, so let me give you one more example. Let's say our variable was here. Now I know that this is four, this was a three, I know the answer is three, but let's say I was looking for it, and this is five. Again, it's a right triangle, so I can use a Pythagorean theorem, so it's a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So again, we'll call four um, a, the, uh, this side right here, so that'll be four squared plus b squared. Now this is the, this is the b side, so the length of b is x, so that's just going to be x squared is equal to c squared. Of course, that's always the hypotenuse, which is 5 squared. All right, so let's go ahead and solve this real quick. So that's 16 plus x squared is equal to 25. Now, to solve this equation, I need to subtract 16 from both sides of the equation. So I'm going to get x squared is equal to 9. All right, and again, I can just solve this equation by taking the square root of both sides. So I got x is equal to positive negative 3. So we're going to take the positive version, x is equal to 3. And of course, we knew that right there, x is equal to 3. 
All right, so I'm going to wrap it up right here. If you understand everything I've uh, talked about and how to use you know, uh, basic uh, algebra here to solve these type of equations, and you know a good amount about the Pythagorean theorem. Matter of fact, you know what you need to know. Okay, you should be able to solve, you know, Pythagorean theorem problems. Now, there's more sophisticated problems. I could use square roots. Of course, you need to be up to speed on your basic algebra. But um, anyways, you know, hopefully this was an interesting uh, topic. And if you knew everything about that, then, you know, nice job. Okay, A+. Plus. And I give you a few extra stars, but don't you don't want to get overconfident about anything in math because, you know, this is an introduction to the Pythagorean theorem. There's a lot of different type of problems and usage, so you always want to follow through. So a couple of suggestions: I have tons of videos in my um, uh, algebra and my geometry playlist on the Pythagorean theorem, so you could use those, or you could just check out one of my courses. You know, whether that be geometry or any uh, more advanced course, because the Pythagorean theorem, although it is in geometry, it's uh, you know talked about in algebra and in other courses as well. All right, so if this little video helps you out in some way, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus videos, basic to advanced mathematics, all there for you. So if you like my teaching style, there's a ton of content there you can learn from. Uh, from me and I'm making new stuff all the time but my best math help will be within my math help program all right so with that being said I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures thank you for your time and have a great day